좋은 아침, everyone. 조은입니다. And today I have my Europe haul or my London haul. When I was in France, I spent money on bread, and in Prague, I spent money on food, and in Germany, I spent money on museums. Even though I didn't pay f have to pay for all of the museums, some of them I did have to pay, as well as chocolate in Germany. So when I went to London, I finally bought some beauty products and some fashion pieces that I wanted to share with you guys. So let's get this haul started. We're gonna start with beauty, and first we have a bag of Lush products, and all of the Lush products that I have in my bathroom were all gifted to me and when it comes to Lush I usually go into the store because the smell lures me in and also because I want to buy a gift for my friends so this is the first time I bought Lush products for myself and it's because it is a lot cheaper compared to the Lush in Korea. I didn't spend too much money at Lush compared to many YouTubers out there, but I did pick up a couple things. And first we have the Dirty Styling Cream, and this was for my brother. I just really like the way this smells. It's, it smells like Eddie. <laughs> And um, he's actually the reason why I wanted to get this for my brother because I know Eddie really likes the scent dirty. Uh, so this is a styling cream and I actually gave it to my brother a couple days ago and he used it. And after afterwards, like we were walking around Hongdae and he smelled so good. So the scent lasted throughout the whole day. My brother's hair is quite long so he did mention that it didn't really hold um, the long parts of his hair. But because his sides are short, he did enjoy using it and it just smells wonderful. Wonderful. So this is the Dirty Styling Cream and I think the Dirty Spray in Korea is worth about 40,000 won. I don't remember. But it was like 20 pounds, less than 20 pounds and this styling cream was I think less than 5 pounds. So again, in comparison to Korea, it is a lot cheaper so I had to pick up a lot of things. Next we have the Daddy-O shampoo and this is the purple shampoo and I dyed my hair or I bleached my hair last year and I'm thinking about changing up my hairstyle by going gray, a lighter color, cutting my hair. I haven't decided yet but I wanted to treat my hair because whenever I bleach it, it does get really dry. However, thanks to the Loha cell, I forget the orange vitamin hair oil, my hair is always soft thanks to that product but I felt like the purple shampoo would be helpful in maintaining the color as well as keeping it um, like soft. I'm not sure. I don't know that much about hair products but the people at Lush told me that it's a great product for taking good care of your hair. And then next we have this box. It was very prettily packaged and inside it there's an ocean salt face and body scrub and a sandstone soap. These are the two products that are in here. I picked up two soaps and first we have the Serendipity soap and the reason why I picked this one up is because it's very relaxing. There's lavender and chamomile and oh, I just love how this smells. And then I also picked up the Rose Argan soap and I love the body conditioner and the body um, the shower gel, I think. Uh, so I really wanted it because it was a limited edition and the soap just looks really pretty. So I picked up two soaps. And finally, I picked up a very fun product and it is the Woosh Shower Jelly. And it's a very jiggly product and it's lemon, lime, and rosemary for times when you feel like you're an alien on your own planet. So I'm very excited about it because it's just a very fun product, very gimmicky actually. So yeah, that's why I picked it up. And I think this was about five pounds. I don't remember, but yeah, smells very fresh. That's actually it for the skincare. I did go into Boots and Super Drug, but I didn't pick up anything because right before going to Europe, I went to the Style Korean warehouse and picked up so many different products. If you haven't watched that video, you can click up there. Um, so I, like the moment I walked into the Boots or Super Drug, I kept reminding myself of all the eyeliners, the toners, the cleansers that was waiting for me at home. So I controlled myself and didn't pick up anything. But at the meet and greet, a lot of you guys did give me a uh, drugstore product so thank you so much for that I can't wait to use all of the brands um, if you're curious about all the things I received from the meet and greet I did open everything in this vlog right here um, it's a 30 minute long video so I think you can skip the first like five minutes of it and then the rest of it is all of me opening the gifts and thanking you guys so thanks to everyone who um, came to the meet and greet and also I um, finally read 
all of the letters that you guys wrote me. It was super cute and very thoughtful of you. And right here I have a London card and I mentioned in a couple videos I think that I love Rifle Paper Co. Uh, cards and these are both Rifle Paper and this is also Rifle Paper so thanks to the subscribers. I think two subscribers got me this card and um, I really appreciate it. Thank you for such a thoughtful card. I think I'm gonna try to hang up some of these because they're very adorable. There are many adorable cards in here so I think I want to um, add them to this side of the wall so we'll see but yeah back to the haul. Next we have Jo Malone and it's not like skincare and makeup or I have body products in here but it's kind of separate from like Lush, Boots, and Superdrug. So I wanted to kind of um, say goodbye to all the skincare and talk about Jo Malone. Um, this is actually products that I purchased at Duty Free. And um, I walked into Jo Malone stores while I was in London and I was like, oh, it's still kind of expensive. But when I was at the airport, because of the tax-free, um, it was half the price of... Korea. So for example, um, I have a candle right here and this is sold for 90,000 won in Korea, 90 something pound, 90 something won in Korea and I think 60 to 65 dollars in America. And I think I got this for like 30 something pounds at the airport. So I picked up the Peony and Blush Suede and I have this perfume and I love it. It's quite uh, relaxing, it's florally, and it's a very lovely scent. So I got the Peony and Blush Suede. I got the Mimosa and Cardamom Hand Wash. We go through hand washes so quickly, and I thought this is just like the prettiest packaging of hand wash. So I had to pick this one up, and I think this was also about 30 pounds. And then next we have Nectarine Blossom and Honey Bath Oil and the Nectarine Blossom and Honey Hand Lotion. Nectarine Blossom and Honey is actually my favorite scent from Jo Malone. I have a perfume from them and I actually purchased a box of perfume, body butter, and I forget what else is in here. But yeah, I wanted the bigger size of the hand lotion and the bath oil in the same scent as well as the soap. And this is the English pear one that I also have the perfume for. And then I picked up another box of the Nectarine Blossom and Honey. And here we have the body wash, body and hand wash, and then the cologne as well as the body cream. So this is my favorite scent from Jo Malone if you are curious. That was the only duty-free shopping from London and from Korea I went to the All Saints and picked up a leather jacket and I am so glad I purchased this. If you watched my vlogs, I basically wore this every single day or actually every other day because it was so warm. I did not expect uh, London, France, Berlin and Prague to be so cold and once I arrived Korea it's now 28, 30 degrees. It's so hot so I guess I like the warmth but it was so cold in Europe so I am so glad I purchased this. I didn't think that I would wear it because I was expecting spring warm weather but yeah so glad I added another leather jacket to my collection and All Saints is actually one of my favorite brands and while I was in London, I saw so many of the stores. I actually walked into every single one that I saw and they were having a sale. So I picked up a pair of boots as well and I wore this to my meet and greet and I'm just gonna say it now, it really hurt my feet because I walked around London all day in these heels but they were super cute and um, I'm just trying to break into them so I think I'm gonna wear these a lot during the fall and winter time so these boots I added to my collection. I just really like the silver detail on the back. From Topshop I picked up two things and this was actually a brand that I fell in love with when I was studying abroad at Cambridge and to be completely honest this time when I walked in I was really overwhelmed because there were three floors of just clothes, accessories, and shoes, all of it. And like the clothes are really pretty, but the more I looked at them, I realized that the quality wasn't that good compared to um, like style non the clothing, for example. So I didn't go too crazy at Topshop, but I did pick up two things. And first we have this girl's rule shirt. And this really reminded me of something that I saw online on 
Chu and Style Nanda as well, so I, I picked it up from Topshop. And also from Top Man, I picked up this shirt for my brother. Um, it's super hot now and I felt like this was the perfect material because it's super light and very fashionable. Next we have the brand Primark and it's basically a cheaper version of Topshop Forever 21 H&M like everything in there was super cheap uh, for example like the shoes that I got they were six pounds uh, shoes like this in Korea it will not be about well actually no in Korea you can get like really nice shoes for uh, 10,000 won so I guess um, it's similar but the quality just seems really nice but we shall see I will update you guys on these shoes uh, but yeah I just got really excited when I saw them because they just look super comfortable they're um, slippers but also fancy in the front so yeah I had to pick up these I got a pack of socks for my brother. They're very fashionable and very thick as well. So he likes them. So I'm glad he liked it over the Avengers one that I saw. And then I picked up PJs. And first we have this set right here. And this is a tank top with uh, the telephone boots in front as well as these shorts that go with it. They're super comfortable and adorable. I also picked up these navy polka dotted ones and you guys know I have trypophobia but I am not scared of polka dots because they're just organized, um, unorganized, different sized dots freak me out like I'm getting goosebumps as I explain that to you but polka dots don't scare me and I got these this for £2.50 and finally I picked up tea towels and there are two for £2 I just thought that this would be like a great gift to give to family or friends um, because it's very London-y and souvenir it's like a perfect souvenir so yes I also picked up two bralettes from this brand called Seamlace. I just love how uh, cute and punny that name is. And they're just two black bralettes and I love the design of it. And I feel like I'll be wearing these a lot underneath my loose tank tops. I needed bralettes for the summer and festival season so yeah. Seamless had really cute bralettes to choose from. And finally, I picked up something from the Cambridge Satchel Company. If you watch my vlogs, you probably know which backpack I bought, but I never shared which color I purchased yet, so I'll be revealing that. But the Cambridge Satchel Company is something that I discovered while I was studying in the UK, and I picked up a satchel, but to be honest with you, nothing fits in my bag like it fits my wallet and that's it and it's so difficult to open because it's like a buckle so I wanted to pick up a magnetic one this time around uh, but I thought you know what a backpack is more useful so I picked up a non-black backpack and it's a wine colored one and they were doing engravings for the stampings for free that day so I asked them for a bike I wanted my initials but I just felt like I don't know I felt like the bike was more like, it just looked classier so this is the backpack that I got and I really like it because it's very secure and you lock it from the back so no one can really reach for it from the the front of the backpack. I haven't taken this out with me in public but it's so beautiful and I can't wait to start wearing it. It's very light and it definitely fits my laptop, my wallet, my phone, so much more than the other Cambridge satchel that I have so I'm very very excited about this. That's it for my London haul. I hope you guys enjoyed watching. If you're interested in any of the items I mentioned, I'll try to find the best links possible and link it for you guys in the description box. And I'll see you guys in my next video. Annyeong!